Hey, what's up folks? It's Dan Bader here, and it's time for another Python video. So I'm doing this new series of videos uh, with little Python tidbits, you know, really cool features in Python that you can apply in your own code in your day-to-day -day work and that are just going to give you a deeper understanding of Python. And I'm, I'm calling them Python tricks. So this is a new video series I'm starting. And um, shameless plug, I'm also working on a book under the same name, which is going to be almost like a, a a buffet of really awesome and cool features in Python that you might not have heard about or you know that you've always been curious about uh, about how they might work. So I'm actually working on this book in uh, in like an early access or like beta mode so you can get updates as they come out and you can get in for a cheaper price. And uh, if you're interested, I'll I'll put the link into the video description below. All right, so in this episode of Python Tricks, I want to talk about the difference between the is operator and the equals equals operator because I know that um, there this is often a point of confusion for Python developers and um, I've been trying to come up with you know an example that really boils it down um, to to like a minimal example necessary to understand this distinction and I think I got a pretty good shot at this so so uh, bear with me so at the end of the video you're going to know the difference between is and equals equals and you're going to know when to apply them so the key thing here is that there's a difference between two things being identical or two objects being identical and them being equal like there's a semantic difference there's a difference in meaning and so for example when i grew up our neighbors had uh twin cats so there were two cats that looked pretty much exactly the same but of course they were they were two different cats. I mean, they were not, you wouldn't say like, oh, that's the same cat, right? That would be crazy because there's two of them. And um, I'm, I'm gonna st keep stretching that analogy even thinner, so bear with me, right? So there are two different cats and uh, they're two different entities, but uh, they look the same. Like you could say, oh, they're, they're equal. But uh, really what this example shows is that there's a difference between something being Two things being equal and two things being identical. And that difference is really important if you want to understand the difference between is and the equals equals operator. So let's start with the equals equals operator first. So this guy here, it compares by checking for equality. So if these cats were Python objects and we compared them with the equals equals operator, we'd get, hey, these cats are equal as an answer because they, you know, they have the same properties. They look the same. Now, on the other hand, the is operator compares identities. So if we compared our identical, like seemingly identical cats or identical looking cats with the is operator, then we'd get the answer that, well, they're two different cats, right? They're not the same cat. Like there's two of them. Like, are you crazy? So before I get all tangled up in this cat analogy, um, let's actually come up with some Python code here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new list object. You know, just um, create this new list, one, two, three. And then we're gonna create another variable that points to the same list. So now these two variables, A and B, they're pointing to the same list. So when we inspect A, we can see here, okay, this is the contents we, well, we put in earlier. And if we inspect uh, B, then we get the same result. Now, at this point, we, we know that they kind of look the same, right? So if we compare them with the uh, equals equals operator, we get true as the answer because, well, you know, they, they look the same. They have the same, uh, seemingly the same content. Now, what that doesn't tell us, however, is whether or not A and B are actually the same object. I mean, in this case, we know because we created them and we assigned B to point to uh the, the same object that A points to, but suppose we didn't know, right? Like how could we find out? And this is where the is operator comes in. So if we went A is B, then in this case, Python would tell us, yeah, they're the same object. Like they are the same thing. And uh, that would mean, you know, if I go in and uh, change A by let's say putting in a string, if I change A, that will also change B because they're pointing to the same underlying object, right? And so now um, I'm actually gonna undo this and just you know create a new list here and then replay 
everything I did before. So now we're, you know, I undid this change here where I added this string. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new copy off the this list that we're going to call C. And the way we can do that is just by calling uh, the list function or the built-in list function on A again. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a shallow copy that will look exactly the same. So let's take it, look at A again, look at B again, and then look at C. And you can see here, they all look exactly the same, right? If you're just looking at their contents, they look exactly the same. So now this is where it gets interesting, right? Because when I go and compare A to C, then we get the answer, okay, they're, they look identical. Uh, they are considered equal. Now, if I go and do A is C, then we get a different result because Python tells us, hey, they're not the same object. They might look identical, but they're not the same freaking cats. They're two different cats that just look the same, right? They're both like, they both have black fur and the same uh, eye color and whatnot, but they're, they're two different cats. And really, this is the key distinction between equals equals and the is operator. Because the is operator or an is expression, it evaluates to true if two variables point to the same like identical object. And the equals equals operator or an equals equals expression evaluates to true if both objects are equal or have the same contents, but they're not necessarily the same object. Like we don't care about that. All right, so I hope this clarified this difference to you and uh, just think of cats. So every time you're going to have to make a decision between equals equals and is, just think of twin cats. I mean, think of cats all day. You can also think of dogs. It works the same way with dogs, but that's really the key distinction you need to remember. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this kind of micro example where I'm explaining an aspect of Python, part of the language, um, in sufficient detail to kind of, you know, get started with it and really understand the underlying principle, then uh, be sure to check out my new book. It's available for early access right now. And I think you might really enjoy it. Cool. Talk to you soon. Thanks so much.